we are starting a movement. We're really changing the status quo. And this movement is called the Bigger Than Me Success Series, Achieving Racial Equity and Inclusion in Business, Education, Wealth, and Health. Yes, it's a systems change. So this really is about how do we think about those problems that we know exist, those key challenges? How do we bring together adaptive leadership, positive psychology, as well as something that's very simple? It's called self-directed learning. So when you know a thing, it's really not about knowing it. Information is only one part of the equation. Information only leads to transformation through activation. And so what we're doing today is we're recapping a session that was on 7-7. It's a six-part transformational series. And the sessions are on 7-7-8-8-9-9-10-10-11-11 and 12-12 of 2020. So there's going to be monthly initiatives, national initiatives, but we're also hosting recaps and deeper conversations using this weekly show. So I'm super excited and we're going to get right to it. So we're going to start with a simple video, one of my favorites, around how to start a movement. Check this out. Because eventually they would be ridiculed for not joining in. And that's how you make a movement. But let's recap some lessons from this. So first, if you are the type, like the shirtless dancing guy, that is standing alone, remember the importance of nurturing your first few followers as equals. So it's clearly about the movement, not you. <laughs> okay, but we might have missed the real lesson here. The biggest lesson, if you noticed, did you catch it? Is that leadership is over glorified. That yes, it was the shirtless guy was first, and he'll get all the credit, but it was really the first follower that transformed the lone nut into a leader. So as we're told that we should all be leaders, that would be really ineffective. If you really care about starting a movement, have the courage to follow and show others how to follow. And when you find a lone nut doing something great, have the guts to be the first one to stand up and join in. And what a perfect place to do that, Ted. Do you love that? <laughs> what I love about that is, this is so simple. This Bigger Than Me success series really is about transforming hearts and minds. It's about co-creating solutions and implementing known solutions. It's really, this isn't a new conversation, but what is new is this is a critical point in history where we all agree talking about solving a problem a problem that we've talked about for years and not taking new transformational action. It's just, it's just not acceptable. What we're gonna do with this Bigger Than Me success series is we're offering this to everyone. It doesn't matter who you are or where you are, from Microsoft to McDonald's, from the CEO to the janitor, from the East Coast to the West Coast, the North to the South, it doesn't matter who you are, everyone's welcome. It also doesn't matter where you are in your journey because this is about creating a safe space for everyone to learn and grow.